Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to tie a tie. Uh, I'm going to give you two different styles of knots. The first one is going to be a Windsor knot, and the second one is going to be a Trinity knot. Uh, things you need for this is obviously a tie, and I prefer a mirror so you can see what you're doing. It makes it a lot easier, and a dress shirt just so you can have it under your collar and you don't have to touch it again. All right, for the first one, button this up. First one for the Windsor knot, I start with a thick side on my right and a thin on my left, and I start inside out. Most people start like this, but I do mine with the inside facing with the little slot right here. I don't know, it's been working my whole life, so I'm gonna stick with it. And I like having the thin side about three buttons down. I found out that works for me the best. All right, for the first step, you wanna take the right side, the thick side, lap it over, the thin shorter side and create almost like an X then you want to come behind it and this shows the front of your tie right here in this way and you want to throw it over from right to left okay and you take your thick side you go through this neck hole right here pull through and this is going to create almost like a uh, mini like the starting knot for your tie now you take the thick side from your right, you want to overlap to your left, make it thicker, and then grab the thin. And it's key to pinch the knot so you don't lose where you're at. It makes it a lot smoother of a process. Come up through the neck. Okay. And then you can see it's got the knot right here, but you still have the thick side. And the last step is to pull through front and this will create your knot and what's nice about this is you can pinch the bottom to tighten up so it looks nicer get that perfect triangle and you can pull the thick through and tighten it up you can mess with the knot get the perfect knot you want and then you can take the thin hold it and you can pull this up and get the perfect spot for your tie and you can always adjust it Make it look how you want. Okay. The nice thing about this is you can loosen it up through the thin side. You can actually take it off. And then you can mess with the knot, get the perfect one. If you didn't like it the best when it was on you. All right. And for the second one, this is called a Trinity knot. This is almost going to be the exact opposite starting wise. You want the thick side about belly button about at the belly button length right here because this doesn't move at all when you're doing it and then the thin doesn't really matter okay for the thick you want to pinch up towards here in your upper chest almost at your collarbone this will create the ending image under the knot for your final of your tie you want to take the thin hold that pinch right there over take the thin and wrap it around the pinch so you can see it's kind of creating this and you want to take the thin and on your left side you want to overlap towards yourself and pull through on that side on this right here okay and then you want to take the thin you want to go across from left to right thicken this and pull up through away from yourself now it looks like you got the tie we just did, just with the lap hanging over. You want to go through the front, like the last one, but this time it's got the thin. See? And this is where it's important because you have the thin side, you have the thick side. I like going from left around in a circular motion like this because the thinner side is right here and you're going to end up tucking this into your collar. And this is thicker and it's going to be harder to tuck it. It's going to be very congested and thick. So you go left behind. So with the thin left behind the thick. And then this right here from the side, you can see you can pull this out a little bit. You don't want to pull it out too much because it might loosen the knot too much. Okay. You want to go from right to left through like this, creating a knot. You can tighten it up like this. That perfect it's like three mini 
triangles in one. Okay, tighten it up to your neck. You can kind of scrunch the sides down so it doesn't show with your collar because it's kind of thick. And this is what's nice about going left to right with this because you end up on the thin side. You can tuck this up and behind. And then you can fold this down for the final step. And I use this for uh, every once in a while. It's a nice switch up. It gives you something different than just your normal basic tie, your Windsor. And this is called the Trinity Knot, and that's two different ways to tie a top with two different knots. So, all right, thank you.